my very useful uh, border collie has come. Boy! Atta boy! Boy! Shh, shh. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video will be a little bit jumbly. Um, I haven't really had much time to film um, any solid videos over the last uh, few weeks. I've been quite busy in college, but I have got a lot of footage taken. So I decided what I'll do today is uh, give you guys a little update on what's been going on on the farm. So I'm going to basically throw a load of clips together on what we've been getting up to here on the farm and um, the last few weeks and I might just do a few voiceovers and explain what's going on. We've been mainly just getting the rams out for topping, we've been gathering some of the yos, some of the yo lambs had to be weaned off their mothers on the mountain um, and then plenty of rams were let out with the yos as well. So um, I hope you enjoy the video guys. The first piece of footage is from the 3rd of November this was when we uh, did the first crayon change on the ram harnesses of the rams with the crossbar joes. Uh, we uh, are trying out new harnesses this year and um, we've never used harnesses before and you can check out um, my video on that. It's the topping part one video uh, where we fitted the harnesses onto the ram. So we're just changing over the crayons now to change onto a new colour. A 360. <laughs> hmm. So we have the three crayons changed. Uh, one of the Charlies, one of the Texels, and also the Charlie in here. Now there is a couple of Lameos, so I'm just going to treat their feet while I'm here. Easy go. He's like, where are my ladies? Where's my ladies at? <laughs> Look at Dolly, the little angel. Just happily sleeping. Not too fussed about anything. I am taking a quick look at our hoggets um, and our yo lambs. So we have a few hoggets here that weren't with the ram last year. And then there's also some yo lambs that we're keeping and we're putting with the ram this year. These are all with a Charlie ram. Oh, I see him now. The Charlie. So um, we didn't have a harness for him, but we did pop on a bit of paint on his chest. And you can see there he has a few tupped already. Some of the hoggets. And um, I'm just looking at poor little Dolly over here, sleeping. They're very settled, aren't they? They're not too bothered by me at all. Let's get a look at you, Dolly. Come on, girl. I see Daisy over there, too. How are you? You're not tupped anyway. Although I doubt that paint is rubbing anymore. It was only a bit of paint. We didn't have a, any rattle or harnesses with us. So these guys will be a little mystery. Oh, you're lame. Ouchie. I better do your foot. I should have guessed that by how long she was lying down. And little Daisy. Hello. Hello, Daisy. Hello. How are you, miss? How are you? Oh, poor Daisy. How was life? Hmm? 
<laughs> you are the coolest lamb ever. Wonder will I be able to catch Dolly and do her foot? Okay, here we go. Come on, Dolly. Why did it have to be the wild one? Why couldn't it be the nice, quiet lamb? Come on, Daisy. Come on over here and comfort her. So, I walked the two pet lambs into the corner. Told them how cute they are and how much I love them and then they actually kind of started being friendly until I was close enough to catch poor Dolly so I can do her foot so she probably hates me again but look she has a sore foot and it needs to be treated what was I supposed to do? Um, Daisy thinks that she's been abducted so I'm going to get on and treat her foot and leave them to it. Uh, the things I do for love not a happy sheep. She's being a pure drama queen now, hobbling all over the place. There was no problem when I was chasing around the field, was there? The next bit of footage is from the 8th of November. We went up the mountain to get some of the yos that were staying down low. Some of the yos are going to be staying on the mountain with the ram, um, and then some of them we were going to bring down and put with a shevet ram. Do you ever get that feeling like that? You're being followed? I don't know, just sense something, you know? Come on, girls. Time for a bit of green grass, huh? Oh, excuse me. out there weren't you? Very helpful. Come on, open the quad. Let's go. Come on. Come on. That's the good dog. Right, now Monty you stay and watch them sheep. Me and Spotty are going to move these sheep, okay? One job, stay. Stay Monty. Monty, I said stay. Oh, she's Monty. It's basic. Stay, it means you do nothing. You get to be lazy like you always like to be. Come on. Come on. You're a useless dog. Will you work, will you? Come by. Come by. Oh. I'm telling you guys, this sheep dog does not work. This one does. Worst sheep dog I've ever had. Here is a few of the yo lambs that we are separating from the yo so they don't get topped by the ram. Then it was time to let out some of the rams. Go on, boys. So after spending a few days getting some of the rams out, we um, on the 14th of November, we took some more yos off the mountain to bring down to Lowland for uh, the Shevet ram. And uh, we left some still on the hill for the horned rams.
We pulled off the oats that we are going to put with the Shevet Ram. We left them and the Shevet Ram down off the hill and we put the oats that we want with the horned rams back to the hill along with the two horned rams. So uh, myself and Glenn are here um, bringing them back out the mountain. So it was time to just put Glenn to the test and have a little training session. Bye! 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 I'm just going to do a little voice over here because the wind was so bad but Glenn did really well. He's still learning to drive sheep away. He was kind of confused. He thought he was supposed to fetch them for me and bring them back which is what he's used to but here um, it was something new for him to try to drive sheep up the hill. He's very good at it when he understands what he has to do but uh, it just took him a few minutes to catch on that I wanted to push the sheep up the hill but he did really well and he's starting to get some great distance as well. Back onto the lowland. Um, I took some footage there um, about a week after we changed the crayons on the rams that are with the crossbar joes. So um, you can just see a bit of footage here. You can see the new colours appearing from the crayons. They are a colourful bunch now anyway. A few of the new colours coming through. Blue, that's a new colour. Green. There's a purple there somewhere too. They're my pets. And here is just some footage of me popping out another horned ram to the, some of the mountain sheep. Hello. Next up, it's the 16th of November and we are taking the harnesses off the rams uh, and we're moving the rams and the yodes to a piece of farm that we are leasing for the winter. So it'll be a nice uh, bit of fresh grass for them and it'll hopefully keep them in good condition over the winter months. Just make it down here for a moment and see that there's something changed there.
I am very, very incredibly lucky to be able to call this home. There's not too many people that have this on their back door. That concludes today's video guys. Thanks so much for watching. I know it was a bit of a messy, jumbly video, but I felt that um, you guys were overdue a update. So um, I just said I'd throw in any kind of bit of footage that I got over the last few weeks. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and you found it entertaining somehow. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching very much. Uh, please like and leave me a comment. Um, and subscribe if you haven't. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, but until next time, see you guys. Thanks for watching.